welcome to another episode of Universe Mode Raw. We are live on Monday Night Raw. Two episodes left. I can't believe it, guys. It's a long time coming. On Monday Night Raw. And the Beast Incarnate to open up Raw of the Pain, Brock Lesnar. Will be facing Seth Rollins at WrestleMania for in the last man standing match to prove that Brock Lesnar can defeat a man like Seth Rollins. He has not proven that ever. Can Lesnar end Seth Rollins' streak? Can Brock Lesnar finally do it? But tonight, Paul Heyman will send a message to Seth freaking Rollins and Seth freaking Rollins. Goes one on one with MVP later on tonight. But tonight, no stare down. Just Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman to send a message to the King Slayer, not the Beast Slayer. Lesnar says, in order to be the Beast Slayer, you have to slay the Beast. And Brock has, well, Seth has done that. And we're about to find out what Brock Lesnar, or should I say Paul Heyman, has to say to the WWE Universe. My client, Brock Lesnar, is the Beast Slayer. He is the Beast. He's Brock Lesnar. He's the man of this industry. He's the one to win championship gold from WWE and MMA. Only one man has done that. That was Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's been every single star in this industry that he's fought in. And he never lost the first time. But one man has got the, the number of Lesnar, and that is Seth Rollins. Brock Lesnar is a former Universal Champion, the man who tapped out Roman Reigns, former WWE Champion, who squashed John Cena, the man who defeated Bray Wyatt. And why can't he defeat Seth Rollins? This man fought the authority, Triple H and Mr. McMahon, for four years since 2011 through 2015. And that's a long time, but actually 2016, so five years. Shane McMahon. Why Seth has beaten Brock Lesnar, I'm going to say this right now. Why? He is cheated in the first time that they fought in 2014 by low-blowing my client and defeating him one, two, three. That's when he was in the authority. That's when Seth began. Brock didn't care. Harry had his paycheck, so he had to leave home. He was not the champion, though. But then, in 2019, many references, John Moxley, now known as the AEW Sensation AEW World Champion, before he was a champion, at the Royal Rumble 2019, Brock Lesnar fought Dean Ambrose in a match where he put dirty deeds through me in the announce table. He put Brock Lesnar through hell. And then, Dean Ambrose dirty deeds Brock Lesnar and beat him one, two, three by cheating. And then, Brock had an opportunity in the Elimination Chamber. Everyone gained on him. 2019 by the way and then the final pay-per-view before Wrestlemania which did not air this year Fastlane Seth was the number one contender and Brock was like no I'm gonna be the number one contender so they fought at Fastlane and what happened a bloody matchup Rollins picked up the victory by controversial fashion by low-blowing Brock Lesnar like you couldn't beat Brock Lesnar clean he couldn't go down, and this time, you call yourself the Beast Slayer? You never have slayed the Beast clean, and at WrestleMania, the challenge has been set, and it's already been happening, and the last main standing match you make, Seth Rollins, you made the worst mistake you could have ever made, a last man standing match. At WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar. I'll decimate you, Seth. It's gonna be a slaughter. The 
careful what you wish for this same WWE. Brock Lesnar is the ultimate farmer. He's the ultimate pain giving. And WrestleMania you'll see F5, F5, suplex, suplex, suplex city. Blood all over. Cause Rollins won't go down. <laughs> we'll find out. And Rollins, you win every match since your debut. Every single you never was pinned in a one-on-one -on -one match. You never lost a one-on-one -on -one match. And WrestleMania the streak will be broken by Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, the one who breaks records, breaks your dreams, hopes your dreams are coming true. Destroyed by Brock Lesnar, and you're hoping that Seth will be the underdog and pick up the victory. <laughs> Yeah, right. You're gonna have to kill Brock Lesnar and stand him down for 10 seconds, let alone three. So, Mr. Rollins, I hope you got what you wanted at WrestleMania because it's going to be your last WrestleMania. And Brock Lesnar, Paul Heyman, what a promo this was. Wow, what will Brock Lesnar. Well, this face Rollins' is last WrestleMania's last match. What a... Wow. Wow. And we are back on Raw. And Seth Rollins will be in action later on tonight with MVP. But what's to come on the show? Becky Lynch, the Raw Women's Champion goes one-on-one. -on -one. Well, the infamous force known as Nia Jax. Coming up next, we'll round the rounds here with Shayna Baszler getting involved. As Becky will defend... For a Raw Women's title at WrestleMania in a triple threat match. But she doesn't have to get pinned or submitted in the match. It's all about who's the baddest woman on the planet at WrestleMania. It's all about for the Raw Women's title. Can Becky prove that she's the baddest one on the planet and retain the Raw Women's title? You know, it's unpredictable what that match is going to be. You know, and a bunch of other matches for WrestleMania as well. But this is one of the unpredictable and one of the best builds I believe on the Raw brand to this WrestleMania bout. You know, Becky Lynch thinks that she loses it in the WrestleMania main event. Maybe, who knows, it could a lot of change in a lot of time. Maybe the main event could be Becky Lynch, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. That's yet to be unknown though. But right now the main event is Alistair Black and Shinsuke Nakamura from the WWE title. Well, let's hope Nia Jax does not add herself to this match. Because that wouldn't be good. Nia Jax is here on Raw for the first time in Universe Mode since, I believe, the first time of the year. She's been out of action, I believe, with the injury, I think. I don't have a good memory. Maybe she was on Raw, maybe she wasn't. Well, we're just going to say she was not on Raw any time of the year, and now she's returned. And maybe to get up. Let's hope not. And we begin, ladies and gentlemen. This match has begun in Becky right after Nia Jax. Oh no. The power of Becky Lynch drops her on the mat. And Becky. Uh oh. Nia though. Hands with the knees. Oh no. The power of Nia Jax. The knees up. And oh no. Manhandling Becky Lynch. And you can see the fans booing Nia a little bit in this match. As we were not scheduled to have Nia Jax even here tonight. You know, Ray Endurance and Buddy Murphy rematch from the other week. Two weeks ago, rematch will be happening tonight. So will HBK will be here on Raw to address what his actions were last week. So will AJ Styles will face Cesaro later on tonight. In a match and MVP goes one on one with Seth Rollins for the very first time later on in the evening, and as well as Tony Nese will be facing Braun Strowman in a match. And Rey Mysterio is not here. We have some superstars absent from this Raw, but that's how it is. Kevin Owens will be here, The Undertaker, the Kevin Owens show, the first guest of the era, I guess you can say last week was the Kevin Owens show, but that was quickly canceled by AJ Styles. But the first real guest will be The Undertaker, yes, that's right, to build their match at Wrestlemania. But right now in this match, that Nia Jax is really dominating Becky Lynch at this point. 
Can somebody stop? And Becky Lynch. Oh. They dropped it. No. Oh. Nia Jack stopping on Becky Lynch. This isn't going to be good. What's it's Nia Jax? Oh my god. Sent on. Oh god. That's got to be it for Becky Lynch. One. A kick out immediately from the man, Becky Lynch. And then Nia Jax dominating the match. So for in the evening, look at the strike. Oh, oh my god, you can hit a pun. And Nia Jax is simply laughing. And Becky gonna roll out of the ring and Becky Lynch. Nia Jax can't stop laughing at what she's doing to Becky Lynch. And oh, tosses her back into the ring. You can hear the fans just not, this is not what they wanted. And wait a second. Oh, sends Nia back into the ring. And uh oh, Nia Becky trying to oh tackles her. And this is not what people want to see. As everyone's favorite wrestler, I'm the Royal Brand, gets decimated by Nia Jax. And so Becky sending her into the corner. And Becky, oh, first punch, second, third, fourth, trying to come back. No, we can't make a fifth. Nia Jax simply too strong, but oh Becky trying to fight back. Oh no. Too simply strong, but Becky is trying to oh drops her to the mat. She is dropped. Oh did it see Nia Jax is not gonna give up. She on set of beating Becky Lynch, but Becky's on set of being the man and a back exploder. Wait a second. But Ronda Rousey, is she here? What is this we know? No distraction. Uh oh. And Nia Jax sending the Raw Women's Champion out of the ring. Uh oh, what's Nia Jax gonna do? Oh no, 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 no. But Ron oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, on the entrance ramp. Nia Jax. Unbelievable. And oh, on Becky Lynch destroying her. Oh my god. And Nia Jax looking to win by count out here tonight. What a disappointment to an a match that was not incredible, but it was something. Will Becky get back in that ring? No! Nia Jax. Frustration from the WWE Universe. It just pains me to say. But Becky Lynch. Does she even have a chance? On Shayna Baszler, like she had a chance on Ronda Rousey, she got lucky at the Royal Rumble, but this she had a chance for both those women, let alone Nia Jax. Nia Jax victorious here tonight on Monday Night Raw. I can't believe what we just seen. Nia Jax winning by count out, unbelievable. But coming up. Is another match between Braun Strowman and Tony Nese. The Intercontinental Champion is in action next. Braun Strowman is in action with Tony Nese. A Cruiserweight Superstar to get an opportunity on Monday Night Raw in your first match. You say to the Superstar, Tony Nese. He gets the reaction. It's Braun Strowman. We nearly can't believe it, and I can't. I couldn't believe it either. So, um, Braun Strowman goes one on one with an up and comer Tony Nese, who's from the cruiserweight division, and the former cruiserweight champion goes with the Intercontinental Champion, the premier athlete, first time appearing in universe mode. As Drew got the opportunity, the Cruiserweight Champion on SmackDown. Tony needs to get the opportunity. We're all here tonight. Come over here. Come here. I want to show you something. This right here. This is why I'm the premier athlete. And let me show you something else. Let's count it out together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight reasons why I'm the premier athlete. Eight reasons why I'm better than each and every one of you. 
sounds like premier athlete Tony Nice has a little microphone like Elias and you can just hear by the arena echoes I don't know and you know the abs say oh I guess the premier athlete that's why he's the premier athlete Tony Nice in great shape one of the best looking like physiques in the wrestling in WWE right now but can he be one of the greatest to take down a man that no man has been able to uh oh, Tony Nese, oh no, is he gonna fall short again? And Braun Strowman, oh, wow, slamming him into the mat. Braun Strowman has no remorse. The ref is knocked down. Tony Nese, he should not even ask for this match. I mean, he didn't ask for it, but he was gifted a raw opportunity. And can he prevail on Tony Nese? And Braun Strowman kicks out. And oh, 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 Tony goes right after Braun Strowman's legs. Oh my, and look at the strength of blood. Oh my goodness. And Tony showing why he's a premier athlete. I think he's trying to say, savor this moment. Try to, you know, give him like. Go off the Braun Strowman, try to go after him. Now that Braun stays, uh oh, oh no, it's not good. Oh, you're you're in the ring with a monster. He's like twice the size of you. How can you like? You gotta prevent. You gotta go after his legs, Tony. Oh, but Braun going after his legs is not good. Oh no. Body slam, Strowman. Body slam. Man. The premier athlete and the monster among men, the Intercontinental Champion goes right after. And the premier athlete. Uh oh. The power of Strowman. Unbelievable execution. And since this is his challenge, I'm trying to give new superstars an opportunity on Raw. And well, the premier athlete. Oh. No, no, like no contact in that still. Tony could not, he can't survive Braun Strowman. How will Rey Mysterio and Ricochet survive? And Braun Strowman has stated he wants Cedric Alexander in this match. He wants it a fatal four. He wants it to make it more challenging for him. And will that be a case at WrestleMania? Braun Strowman now has to defend his Intercontinental title in a fatal four match. But uh, Alexander will be at next week's Raw on the final Raw on WrestleMania, Road to WrestleMania to address his match with Braun Strowman along with Rey Mysterio and Ricochet. This has got to be a slamming Tony Nese in the mat. It's got to be it. Braun Strowman with the power. Unbelievable. Look at this walking around with this guy. And a running power slam. That's gonna be it. Shocker of the night. Actually, I got shocked at the Braun Strowman. Was without a doubt shocked. It's among us. How did this guy kick out of the running power slam? No man has been able to do it. Oh, oh, a kick. All the knee strikes. Oh, LeBron. Too powerful. And a tackle again. Oh, this man. No. No way. No way that I've ever seen kicked out of the running power slam. From the cruiser with the vision. How do you come back from this? How do you. It's really incredible how Braun Strowman saw the fight. We thought that would be it. Oh, super kick does not happen here. Oh, tackle again. And the monster among men. Oh, the knee. The knee once again from Tony Nese. And oh. Oh, no. You're done. Good night. Good night. Tony Nese. Oh, let's shot right to the eyes and wait a minute. We're not sure we haven't seen this in a while. Face first in the mat. 
There's a cover on Tony Nace. Braun Strowman seemingly dominating this competition on Raw. What a match. This was, and that's the second time that happened in the match. And the second this time, Braun in one hand to finish off the match and put the former premier athlete away. Braun is on stock ball in the universe mode. But his record, to be unknown, but however, the record is no losses, at least in pinfall submission. And look at this. Braun Strowman. Oh no. No. Don't do this, Strowman. Body slam. The fans won't even see this. No, no. Look at the power. Like, Karen Barbage looks like empty bag. Strowman. Gonna make this guy hurt. Too bad. Oh no. I think Tony is regret. I think you should never have ever asked for this. Otherwise, Triple H, whoever gave you this opportunity, would make you get buried by Braun Strowman. Braun's not done. Always just lets him up. Braun Strowman victorious here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Come up next on Monday Night Raw. It will be AJ Styles goes one on one with Cesaro for the very first time. That should be incredible. Here we have reported that AJ Styles has challenged, you know, Shawn Michaels to a WrestleMania match. It's crazy if that ever happens, but Shawn has stated that it's not happening. But he has not accepted it yet, so going to spawn, except with switching music on last week's war on AJ. Well, he's not happy about that. He truly is not happy about that. The phenomenal one is here. You know what, now they say. Well, AJ is about to put to the test of Cesaro. Does he want one? Whoa, 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 Wait, 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 is that... Who the hell? Oh my god! Shawn Michaels! What? No. What's on Raw? You know, to your match at WrestleMania. I said it so many times, but you dis you disrespected my family, and no choice. AJ Styles, I accept your WrestleMania challenge. Who will walk out in the victory tonight? <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry about that. Oh, uh, like I said, who will walk out of the victory tonight? It's kind of like, like MVP's not in his prime anymore, but he can still pull off a really good match at 45 years old. He's Montel Montevideo Sport, for goodness sake. We haven't seen him in quite a while since his loss against Alberto Carrillo, who will be on Raw next week, so expect that. But MVP returned to WWE after Royal Rumble to show off. They still got it, and well, he kind of still does. And, you know, he said with Seth Rollins, you know, he's not... Cleared, cleared like 100%, but he said Seth Rollins, he, Seth Rollins said that he wants to wrestle on the show consistently every week on Raw and SmackDown. So, what does Seth have to bring to us on the table? The fans saying burn it down. But wait a second. Seth Rollins with a torch in hand. Rollins doesn't give a crap anymore. 
If his career is over, he wants to take down Brock Lesnar. He wants to burn him down. For real. Seth Rollins. The face of Monday night. A two-time Universal Champion. I can't believe that Seth Rollins is back. We haven't seen, well, I know he's back, but he has not been on Raw, wrestled on Raw, I believe since episode 4, I believe, I think, since episode 4 of Universe Mode, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but that's quite a long time, and now episode 11, and he hasn't been on every single show, he's trying to fulfill his role, but Brock Lesnar trying to consistently send messages, and wanting Seth Rollins, and well, he's got him, Seth Rollins. We'll have to survive Suplex City. How will he survive it? I have no clue. But first, can he survive? Montel Montavis Porter. Montavis Porter. Now both of them wearing the same kind of gear. Same kind of gold yellowish. I luck from Mandy P and Seth. In the corner. Rollins dropkick, no. And Montavis Porter has a headlock. And what's this DDT position? Oh! Sending Rollins across the ring. Rollins' lower back is hurt. May not be stitched up all oh, big boots. And Rollins. Oh. I luck on Rollins. Rollins gets out of it, but he's on the ground. Montel Montez Porter. Oh! And the boo. I'm a fan. You see him there. And MVP sent into the corner by Rollins. And what's wrong? Well, he has to face first into the corner. Rollins goes on the middle rope. Oh, what a bit of splash from Rollins. Is that going to do it for MVP in one? MVP is stunned. At one, one Seth Rollins is stunned. I'm sorry. So. Kick to the ear. And you know, Seth Rollins and MVP. Similar kind of accomplishments, but Rollins has more accomplishments. Even though, oh, a knee to the jaw once again. You know, it's like, after MVP left, Seth Rollins came in the WWE a few years later, and some say that MVP made Seth Rollins what he is. I don't believe that, but oh, another Phoenix splash into the corner in the middle rope. I simply do not believe. If MVP stayed with the WWE, I think Seth would have gotten the same accomplishments. Or maybe they would have crossed paths early on in their careers. And MVP goes right to Rollins. And a kick out from the architect. You know, these two men. It's, a, it's really an honor for MVP to get in the ring with Rollins. And Rollins said it's an honor to get in the ring with one of the best. And one of his favorites in the early, to the end, early 2010s. As I said, like, MVP was not staying home as, like... He stayed on lazy guy when he left WWE. He was actually doing other indie promotions in TNA and like the Impact Wrestling and stuff. And doing other things. So, and then finally returned to WWE. So he wasn't staying at home like for 10 years, like in straight. Clothesline from MVP. And what's MVP going to the top rope? What's he looking for? What has he got in mind? Oh, it's down. Oh. <laughs> Rounds with a DDT. The former United States champion. But a chop. Oh, another chop from MVP. And consistently has under control Rollins. Rollins. What's that? What's that? What's Montages? What's he gonna do? No. Not at this age. Oh my god, drop kick and Rollins. That was going for a suicide dive. And Rollins stopping that. Uh oh. Rollins not on the concrete. Not on the concrete. Oh my god. Dropping MVP on the mat. Well, on the concrete. Good lord. And what's Seth thinking? Oh, draw, oh, splash and missed from Rollins. He missed that. MVP. Now control of Seth Rollins. Body slam. 
Perfect body slam in the mat. Rollins kicks out at one. And MVP can't believe it. But Rollins is right back to his feet. Rollins slamming MVP into the mat. What else is new? Rollins sending Montavis Porter into the corner. Now what? Rollins all in the corner. What's this? Curb stomp. What the hell was that? Maneuver from Seth Rollins. Oh my god. Seth Rollins. What a match. What kind of curb stomp was that? From the architect, from the beast slayer, Seth Rollins. Or should I say the king slayer? As he's not quite yet slayed the beast, even though he slayed him twice. He has to do one more time to get that honor, I guess. But what a curb stomp from the top rope. Jeez, Seth Rollins is a brutal guy. And look how the pinfall MVP was out of it. He couldn't believe it. Like, that's when you get first hands of the curb stomp, but then from the top rope. Incredible. Congrats to Seth Rollins. This was a match for the... Punk is live. Coming up next on Raw to address his match with Triple H at WrestleMania. It's going to be a career versus career match. So... Can CM Punk finally put the nail in Triple H's career once and for all? Can you finally stop the burials of the careers that Triple H has put down? Can CM Punk finally do the job that he couldn't do? Who knows how long ago the match was. If they even had a match. But the first time at WrestleMania, they're going to fight. So, you know, it's... I mean, we've seen Triple H's career end before WrestleMania at WrestleMania 30. And we all know how that turned out, at least the fans from the original Universe mode um, that was not on YouTube, where Triple H, um, Shane won a match for Brock or something, I don't know how it sort of was, and then he came back, so and Triple H is still back now. But this time, there's nothing, because all the McMahon family is also on the line of the careers, and if CM Punk beats Triple H, Vince McMahon have to sell his WWE to him. And that is also on the line as well. It's everything's on too. We have no clue. And CM Punk is here to address the rumors. We begin. You know, with the rumors of me staying home are not true. And the rumors of me putting my career on the line, and then Triple H putting his career on the line. Not just that, putting Shane's career, Vince's career, and Stephanie's livelihoods of WWE on the line. And if Vin and Triple H cannot win, then Vince will have to sell WWE to me. Is that true? Is that, is that what they're true? Is that what they're saying? Well, that is the case. Because that is the truth. And if you can't handle the truth, well, I don't know where you live. I don't know where, why you even are here in this world. Because the world is all about, well, sad moments or good moments. In this moment, we'll be sad for the WWE. We'll be sad for Vince. He'll be in the hospital, literally crying when Triple H loses. He'll be crying. Well, he has to sell WWE to me. And I might sell WWE to another person. And who knows what they're going to do with that. Because I'm the one. To finally put an end to this business once and for all. And I know I'm not going to be the main event at WrestleMania. Which I don't really care. I already got my main event nine years ago. However, I won the Royal Rumble. Which means a guaranteed main event. I don't care about the main event. I just care about ending Triple H. Ending the authority. Ending Vince. Career in WWE. Ending the McMahon family. What they buried me. They buried me. Better the other talent, Vince won't push out the stars. If someone else like me or somebody else was in charge, then this company would be way better. But no, this company sucks. The ratings have fell down because of Vince's poor booking decisions and his low expectations of pushing younger talent like Cedric Alexander, Ricochet. So many others. That's why Batista's in charge. 
And you know what? I might just hire Batista if I win. Why not win my match? Because he's actually doing good. And Triple H. One more Raw to go. Have a good day. So see if kind of like just said a promo where he's going to end the authority and say, Triple H, you're done. And this is going to be the end. He wants to finally put an end to them stopping. It's going to be a moment. We'll find out next week. Because at WrestleMania, it's about to go down. It's about to be hell raising. So, you know, can if that happens, who will be in charge of WWE? Because I don't know. I've been booking the shows. I've just been the commentator. I don't book the shows. So, and um, Buddy Murphy and Ryan Dorton up next on Raw. And Buddy Murphy with a huge victory over Ryan Dorton. And we also got something that Randy and Buddy Murphy to a WrestleMania match. This match actually did not happen. Actually, this was just a segment and we cannot fit it on the show. But, you know, it's whatever. But Randy Orton has challenged Buddy Murphy to a WrestleMania match after two weeks ago about that role of when Randy Orton wants his revenge. So, will we get a rematch at WrestleMania? That's a question. But, Kevin Owens will be live with the Kevin Owens show. The first guest. Is the Undertaker, and how will that do when they're match when they're fighting in the ring at WrestleMania? I don't know, but it's all about to go down tonight, and that's actually gonna be next. And Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso, if they can win, whoever wins this match, the AOP or the Usos will be facing Akam and um, Ivar and Eric at WrestleMania for the Raw Tag Team Titles. So that's gonna be all the stakes are up or on the line, and then. Bobby Trashley, really Bobby Lashley will go one on one with Dan O'Brien, and this is Bobby Lashley's first appearance. So let's just get to the segment: Kevin Owens and The Undertaker. The Kevin Owens show begins. It was supposed to be last week, as the, the title said on Monday Night Raw, the Kevin Owens show. However, those plans were canceled due to AJ Styles interfering and canceling the Kevin Owens show. So tonight, the Kevin Owens show and the first guest is The Undertaker. How will this happen? I don't know. Did you even get The Undertaker to appear? I don't know how, but we'll find out tonight. Will Kevin Owens summon The Undertaker? Or something. The KO show. Kevin Owens. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tonight's a special night. On the Kevin Owens show. On this show, we have guests. And the first guest is my opponent at WrestleMania. The man that I will defeat. And I will break the streak. The man is The Undertaker. Before I get him out here, I want to say a few things. Um, this man, Undertaker, has been around since 1990. He's been a legend and I respect him. But I have not forgot about that tombstone pile driver and that choke slam that burned it down. Remember that? See Undertaker? You know every step, every game in the book. That's why no man's been able to outsmart you. No one has been looking at your matches for how many years than me. That's why I studied you. And when Shane put me in the match, I knew that I was gonna win. Because I had to. I have to defeat you. To make my legacy in this business, I have to beat The Undertaker. And guess what? What are the betting odds? The size and difference. I'm shorter than The Undertaker. I'm not the strongest. But it doesn't matter. He's 55 years old. He's uh, he's in his middle of the 50s. Should be way past the wrestling time. So it's really, really easier for a 30 year old in his 30s to beat a guy in his 50s so I can put Mark Calloway away so he can finally rest in peace because all he's coming back for is a streak right and when that streak is broken 
the spell. He won't have to come back no more. And 2020 has been the worst year so far. But not for Kevin Owens. So let me end it for The Undertaker. The Phenom. The Undertaker. The dong has hit. But will he come? And there he is. The man who will face Kevin Owens for the 27 and 0 streak at WrestleMania. 27 and 0 losses at the grandest stage of them all. And this man only missed two of them since 1991. 1991. That's almost 30 years ago. But this man made his debut at Survivor Series 1990. The Undertaker's been around since 1990 in the WWE. And you may call me crazy. Look it up. If you don't know this man, Mark Calloway, at the now age of 55, will have another match. He said every year, no man has been able to break the streak. It's like whoever beats the streak, I think that's it for Taker. And Every year, it could be the last time you see The Undertaker in the WrestleMania ring. Just not in the WrestleMania ring, just... In the ring itself, as an in-ring competitor. But he will wrestle for the 28th time at WrestleMania. If you were to tell me that he will be wrestling 28 times? I'll say you're crazy, but no. You're absolutely right. Who would have predicted the future that this man had a streak at WrestleMania? No man will duplicate that record in real life. 21 oh is the greatest record of all time for any for the WWE. But in universe mode, it's been a longer record. It's been extended to 27 and 0. And it seems like The Undertaker wants to take out his hat for respect for Kevin Owens as The Undertaker has respect for Kevin Owens and the WWE he really does and taking off the jacket No one has been able to be in this ring face to face and outmatch me at WrestleMania. Not Triple H. <laughs> he almost got me, I'm gonna say that. But I always knew I was gonna walk out of WrestleMania as the victorious one. And Kevin, and you? <laughs> I don't think so. Now, let me tell you this. I have the athleticism, I have the charisma to the feature at WrestleMania. I can very well get you under a breaking point. See, Undertaker, there's a difference between you and me. Sorry about that. The thing with you is that you don't know how I play my matches. You don't know how I do my matches. I go right to work. That's why they call me the best pure striker of the WWE. And at WrestleMania, there'll be no other one. You're not just going to be the one in 28, you know. You're going to be the one to rest in peace and fall. Just how they all fall in. And why do I keep coming back is one reason for the streak. And one man has to defeat you to put you out of your misery like come on you, you literally said a few years back you said six years ago after WrestleMania 30 you don't need the money you only come back for the streak see who can be the one to defeat me and submit their legacy but then I'm going to get I'm gonna go bring them the best I'm gonna go bring them the hardest toughest battle and if they can defeat me then good for them and that's me look at this the prophecy says it it literally says it in all of the ways. 
there's no prophecy and yeah I did say that but that was Mark Calloway and I'm the Undertaker and you never fought the Undertaker before well, what you saw I burned it down was just Mark Calloway and a Wrestlemania and I'm gonna get the dead man the Undertaker let me tell you this you're an elderly you're old you're broken down just stop it Undertaker just give it up please for the love of gosh retire already nobody wants to see you hurt your body not your wife not your kids nobody wants to see you in this ring anymore and I mean it KO K and one London take her all last right Kevin Owens counter that and the Undertaker is hurt Kevin Owens and the referee no Kevin Owens pump handle on the dead man He's not forgotten about that choke slam and tombstone pile driver weeks ago. Wait a second, what? Wait, 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 wait. Kevin in the corner. Super kick! To the dead man! Not again! Kevin! No! Another super kick to the jaw of the Undertaker. Disrespect by Kevin Owens on Monday Night Raw. Let's see Taker get up. The stunner. That's all it has to do to get a one, two, three count on the dead man on the grandest stage of them all that is all Kevin Owens needs to do in order to end the streak that no man has done before in history of WWE will Kevin be the one will he be the one to end of a streak of the under Taker at Wrestlemania and after we just seen Kevin Owens sending a message to the Undertaker it's basically like the Deadman was not on Smack like it was not on his game tonight but a match between the Usos and AOP the match whoever wins will be facing the Raw Tag Team Champions at Wrestlemania and well Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso are going to WrestleMania, but the main event will be Bobby Trashley and Daniel Bryan coming up next. Can Daniel Bryan knock off Bobby Trashley and then knock off the Fiend of WrestleMania? But we'll find out. The man, the almighty Bobby Lashley, has finally arrived in Universe Mode. After suffering a shoulder injury months ago, he's finally been medicated and he's making it to WrestleMania. Or what? He's facing the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. And other than Dana Bryan, for the first time ever, these two men in the same ring at the same time. You know, Bobby Lashley's record in this mode is 0-0. Zero zero. Can he make that 1-0 tonight? He's a talented athlete, he's a former MMA star, he's a bigger and better record than Brock Lesnar MMA. Can he knock off the beat, not the beast, so I'm sorry, can he knock off the vegan Dana Bryan in our main event tonight? Hope you guys are enjoying the show as we're on close and close to Wrestlemania and we'll be featuring new clips and new kinds of things in universe mode at this show. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. Because Bobby Lashley will be at WrestleMania, he claims. And he wants to knock off Daniel Bryan before that event. 
the former WWE World Champion, the man who main evented WrestleMania 30 in a triple threat match with Batista and Brandy Orton. He tapped out Batista and won the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Only losing it the next few nights on SmackDown. That meant Peter Bryan needed to get it back from Brandy Orton. And he won it at payback. And now it's time. Six years later, can Daniel pull off another miracle at WrestleMania? But can he pull off this victory over Trashley? No. Oh, a kick from Dana Bryan right off the bat on Bobby Lashley. And Dana Bryan, oh no. Lashley going right to work. A little bit dazed. You know, Lashley's 43 years old or something like that. He's 44 years old. And he's still doing wrestling full time. And he's from the like ruthless aggression era from the former ECW Bryant in 2006, 2007. You know, on the cover of the WWE SmackDown versus Raw 2008. And these two men lock up. Ty holds the referees down. The ref is down. And the ref coming to check on this. And Brian all oh, slap from Trashley. A clothesline. And a neck breaker from Bobby Lashley. Dana Bryan has to worry. An RKO? No. Uh oh. Trashley! With the maneuver. Now, what's next? Oh. Shot from Dana Bryan. Nope. Lashley. He's Lashley and Trashley. He's both men. And Dana Bryan. Uh oh. Lashley closed the line. To Dana Bryan. He tried to go for that. He missed. Uh oh. Headbutt to the back of the neck. We hear the fans booing Bobby Lashley in this arena. Look at the strength. That's got to be it. Cover Dana Bryan. And a one. It has been a one count so far on Monday Night Raw for Dana Bryan. Can you pull off it? I'm a returning Bobby Lashley. These two men have not made an appearance. On the first ever episode of Universe Mode Raw back in January 7th, Dana Bryan came back after the Royal Rumble, and Bryan trying to knock off Trashley and Lashley, and he can't. They need Lashley still on his feet. Uh oh, Dana Bryan caught him. Or oh, the headlock, the headlock submission hold for Lashley, escaping from that. Unbelievable. Bryan caught him. Uh oh. And lastly, flexing on his opponent. Uh oh. Another headbutt to Dana Bryan and Bobby Lashley. Look at them strengthen his muscles. Saying to Dana Bryan, you're nothing. And a superplex into the ring. Back in that ring goes Dana Bryan. And tackle. From Lashley. What's he gonna do now? Dana Bryan's helpless at this point. And the fan booing Lashley. Look at the strength of Bobby Lashley. It's unbelievable. Oh no. Don't do this. Oh! The cover. A kick out, but Dana Bryan somehow back to his feet. And lastly, spoiling the fun. Oh no. Look at the power of Bobby Lashley without a doubt. That was the shoulder that he injured. One arm sending Brian down. The sweat goes down as well. The sweat and blood. One, two. No. Dana Bryan somehow kicked out at one. At two, I'm sorry. Oh no. How is Dana Bryan? Oh no. And Bryan got caught. And Bryan rolling out of the ring. This can't be good. We're outside the ring, ladies and gentlemen. And this is not going to be good for Dana Bryan. Oh, wait a minute. Bryan got out of that butt. Lastly, sending him into the ring. Uh oh. Brian going up the the arm. 
But Lashley fighting back. A kick. Oh no. Close line. And Dana Bryan DDT. The fans are writing. Go Bryan. Pick up the victory. And they got the submission hold on Bobby Lashley. Will Lashley tap out? No way. Lashley's gonna submit. Lashley again fighting back. Lashley may be out of action again with a broken knee. No way. Uh oh. Lashley sending Brian down. One, two, and Brian still in this match. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, but Brian roll up. And it was a two, not even a two count, not even a one count, not even a count at all. As Raj Lashley got in the ropes in time. Oh no. Brian going to the top rope. Oh no, Lashley stopped him. Superplex on the top. And an elbow. And what's Lashley gone? The mind. The superplex into the ring. One arm. One arm. Man. One. Two. No. Daniel Bryan kicked out at two. Unbelievable. The matchup. And bend the arm. No. Bryan reversed it. Brian going after the knee again of Bobby Trashley. He's gonna bend the knee. He's gonna destroy that knee. And Daniel Bryan going for the cover. That's gotta be it. One, two, three. Daniel Bryan picks up a momentous victory over. Bobby Lashley ahead of Wrestlemania what a victory for Dan O'Brien but wait a second the Firefly Funhouse the Fiend is in the ring my goodness appearing out of nowhere the Wrestlemania belt is this a spoiler of what's to come for Dana Bryan's fate at Wrestlemania the mandible claw oh. the fiend Sending a message two weeks before the grandest stage of them all Where he will defend his World Heavyweight Championship Against this man Dan O'Brien But does Dan O'Brien even have a chance To last two minutes with this man Because the matches that the Fiend had in the universe mode only two Lasted less than five minutes I'll say so I don't know. Good night, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And thank you for stopping by.